Hello, I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. And again, I'm sharing with you some very important information with regard to the COVID-19 pandemic. Why am I still talking about COVID-19? Because I'm sure many of you have been told that the pandemic is over. That's a wonderful thought, but not necessarily one that's based in terms of reality. And so usually in terms of getting people to understand where we are, rather than just saying it is or isn't there, I show you the reality. This is, as usual, my reference point, the Johns Hopkins COVID-19 Resource Center, and it's showing you in the world, this is where we are with regards to red areas being where virus is still actively being spread. I always reference the point that Africa somehow seems to have escaped, but that's for a different day. So the point is, what is going on with the pandemic? And if there is one lesson that we have to learn from the different stages of the pandemic, is that every time we thought that there was a problem somewhere else in the world that wasn't ours, it always becomes our problem. And so I'm going to show you some images from a video that was just released about an hour ago from uh, Weon. Now, I do follow Weon because they, they have quite a lot of up-to-date, interesting information. And so I'll share with you the, um, the overview of what they are seeing now in China. And it, I'll take now the sound just in case it, it um, gets lost. But here is the general principle as to what's happening. So they're saying at the moment that uh, crematoriums are overwhelmed with dead bodies in um in China. And they're showing pictures here of all the bodies going to the crematoriums and the line that is there. And it, it, this is all on the background that uh, what we're not getting information about, sorry about that, what we're not getting information about is what is happening in China at the moment with regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. And so this is where we have to be very careful. Why is this important if it's occurring in China? Why is it relevant to the rest of the world? As I said, this has happened before. This also happened with the Delta virus in India, where everyone was saying this is an India problem. No, it becomes everyone's problem. And currently, it's Omicron XBB that's spreading through China. And so it's a matter of time before it reaches the rest of the world. But that's only a part of the issue that's occurring with regards to our challenges ahead. Now, there are pieces that I will talk about live with regards to um, COVID-19 and my research anticipation for the future, but there are significant other bits that I can't speak about live and you will have to come onto Substack in order for you to be able to listen for posts, podcasts and videos since March, 2020. And largely it's because there are some things that I don't think are appreciated in the mainstream media. From a scientific point of view, I just ask hard questions. And so if you want to hear the full presentation, if you are live, you will, but otherwise you will have to join me on Substack. And the overview of what I'm talking about is essentially that I'm going to be going back to one of the very important questions. Why did we not develop a vaccine against SARS-CoV? And I'll be taking you through some important points in that paper. I'll be talking about issues like the mucosal immune defense. I'll be talking about the immune responses by the different vaccines and how it's relevant to that paper and the potential autoimmune complications that we are likely to see in the future. So these are the kinds of things that I'll be looking at in a bit more detail. And I'll be trying to go through what I anticipate is going to be first a China problem, but it's likely to be a global problem. And this is why we have to remain ahead of the science. COVID-19 is still spreading right across the world, as I showed you with regard to the map. There doesn't seem to be any effective way for us to completely stop it. And so what we can do is try and anticipate what it means and find ways to mitigate the outcomes that could be coming. So thank you if you are live with me today. If you are not, 
At this point, you will see an end and I want you to join me on Substack. And that's where some of the paid subscribers get to see the full presentation at their leisure. So let's 